Hello everyone, my name is Christian Negulescu. You know me for um, a lot of videos with your iPad. On the internet, I made also some videos with ChatGPT. Today I will show you something very nice. So from ChatGPT, I will call a new iPad robot. So the idea is like this. I will go to, um, to ChatGPT, to my GPT, then I will send this out. Send an email to Christian Negulescu with a summary of this text, yeah? The summarization of this text. And let's see. GPT will identify this uh, stuff and instead you want to start an action, I say, yes, I want to start an action. I confirm that I start an action that will connect to your iPad staging. In your iPad, I have here a process. And you see the GPT was able to start my process. The GPT is able to, inter to interpret what is inside of the, the text that I write. And who he will communicate to my process a JSON, yeah? Based on the, this uh, this uh, uh, JSON, my process, which is uh, this one, I will show you the, the process, will send an email. So basically, um, I go here, I have a webhook that uh, intership the data from the GPT. The, then your iPad system uh, extract the data from the email uh, from the uh, that is coming from uh, GPT on a JSON format, and he will send an email with uh, with this data, and if we uh, take a look, we'll receive an email if the process is finished. Let's take a look again on the orchestrator. I received the email. Voila. So he was able to say the summary for the Las Vegas description. He told me something about Las Vegas and he sent the email. Good. So from ChatGPT, I'm able to call you iPad robots very fast. Let me show you how to do this. We'll start from the UiPath side. We'll see what I create in the UiPath um, studio. And uh, uh, then we'll see the configuration of GPT. And as usual, I will show you all, all these steps. So first, uh, I will use Studio Web to be much faster here. I show you the project. The project is, is very simple. It's complex from two stuff, webhook and send email, yeah? So uh, let's create a new process to understand all the steps that you need to do with this process to uh, to understand steps. So I go here on uh, Studio Web, I say new project. And here I write a webhook, a web, um, webhook, okay? And I will select this one. Good. Now, on this webhook, the system will generate a link, yeah? This is the, uh, um, uh, this is the link that I will put inside of my GPT. GPT will ask for, uh, for this one. Here, I will put an example of JSON if I run debug. Yeah, so I have here an example with, uh, with the JSON just for debugging to show you that the code is working, yeah? So this is not ne necessary. I said the debug, uh, the body will be this one, yeah? Good, next, what I want to do? I want to send an email, yeah? In my case, it was uh, send uh, Gmail, yeah? Send email, this one. So GPT will make an uh, HTTP request uh, to my webhook and he will send some data on a G on an email. I would say that he will use my connection, Christian Nicolescu. I would say that he's not saving a draft. And here on this one, he wants an enum enumeration. And on this enumeration, I will provide him uh, the body. Yeah? Also provide him body. On the body we have uh, object, G object, and on the G object I have to provide him um, mm -hmm. I don't remember the but I have here a code. Um, um, you know, I have that that video with the the, the serialization of uh, the serialization of the uh, of the code. So, deserialize JSON, deserialize JSON. Let me search and I will come back. Yes, I did all the videos with JSON for me because <laughs> I I don't know I'm not, I'm not able to uh, to remember all this conversion from JSON. So basically. I extract here the what is on to JSON. I extract here what is on the select JSON on the subject and here on, on the body. Yeah. To be able to understand um, that we do the right uh, commands here, 
let's make a log. Let's put a log here. And let's say again, bad B. Let's see from here as a variable. Uh, open expression. Body. To object. As text. Yeah. And this is our uh, stuff. So we just receive a JSON. And we um, we deserialize the JSON and put the, the data from the JSON on the email. Let's run a test and you'll see the log here. We'll see. So he will use the, uh, the stuff from the debug here. That's why we put this uh, this one for the debug to to test it to uh, to see what is there. Start the process. Here is our JSON display on the log, and he was able to part this correctly. And probably he will send an email. But it's with test to iPad. He will send an email to test to iPad, and I will get from Gmail that uh, test to iPad doesn't exist. Okay, but we test our code. That's that's the idea to test our code now. We test our code from here, but we want to test this. So we want to test this externally to see that this is working before we arrive to ChatGPT. So we'll say, uh, uh, list, uh, listen to GPT, yeah? Uh, version one, version one. And done. So we'll publish this, done. After we publish this one, we will go, in the orchestrator to be sure that this is a trigger. So inside of the orchestrator, we have this uh, uh, automation triggers, event triggers. And you see, we have the, the one that we started on the beginning and uh, we let it, we say, disable to this one. And this one that we created and it's enabled, yeah? Good. Now, let's test this one from a, a system outside of UiPath. So here you see, hello or from Postman, the message was not able to send to test uh, UiPath. Uh, um, uh, that's because this is not existing. Good. Let's test this outside of UiPath. To be able to test this outside of UiPath, we'll test it from Postman. So we go to Studio. And on Studio, on this one, we need the, um, remember he provide us, when we put the webhook, he provide us the link of the web. We need to put this link because someone, copy link address, um, someone has to, uh, to provide data there. In our case, the postman will provide data there to see that this is working. Done, okay. And to test this from postman, let's say that uh, it's, uh, YouTube, it's 9.70 p.m., yeah? <laughs> yes, uh, let it like this, it doesn't matter. So we send the data from Postman, and we receive this one. That means he's, he was able to connect to the webhook. We can see here on the um, uh, orchestrator. Automation, triggers. Uh, no, we, we go into jobs to, to see the uh, the jobs, yeah? And you say, listen to GPT, it was personal remote started, yeah? 50 seconds ago. So the system was started, yeah? Done, and what we sent here, we sent to Christian Negulesco to apad.com. So normally we should receive an email. So normally, uh, this one was able to send the email with Christian and so on, with uh, all my misspells, and we should receive on Christian Negulescu an email. No, so fast. It'll take some time to, to get the email on, on uepad.com. But you see the email here was was sent. So email in Gmail was uh, was sent with uh, um, to Christian Egulescu. 
it can go on spam on on the way how I create that email with uh, it can arrive on on junk. You saw that the email was was sent was uh, was sent from Google. Done. Okay. Look, we get also the uh, the email. So the system is working from UiPath side. Now let's understand what we need to do inside of ChatGPT. Inside of ChatGPT, you need to have the version um, that you pay for the version. So you have a monthly fee. So you go here inside of ChatGPT. And uh, we go to explore GPTs. And we need to create a GPT. I already have a GPT there. I will show you the GPT how it's, um, how it's uh, done. But let's create to see all the steps. So you put new GPT uh, UiPad. Yeah. Then you put uh, uh, um, listen, listen, uh, no, send data. Send data to UiPath. Now, on the instruction, the system has to know what we'll do with the data that we write on this GPT. And I prepare here an instruction. So uh, I'm not sure that you need to be so detailed, but I like to provide him all the data to be sure that he's able to understand this, uh, this stuff. So what do we say? ChatGPT has to analyze the text, uh, update the variables. So it has to extract two subject body and it must complete all this stuff um, before calling the web URL. Condition, you can put a condition to start. So if you find something, start. And we have to create here action. Okay, on this action, we need to provide him a schema. Now, to be able to build a schema, I will do like this. I will ask ChatGPT to create a schema. So I will, I will give him uh, a text. So I have it the text. I will provide the text. I, I will provide you the the schema that it's working for me. But I want to show you also how to uh, to build the schema. Yeah. So in my case. I provide this text and we'll, we'll see exactly what uh, uh, what is here. So I say to ChatGPT, please build a schema for GPT action for a post call to URL. So it should be a post. This is very important. Then I provide him the URL, the, um, the URL to my uh, webhook. Yeah? The required parameter should be to subject body. Yeah? And here, here you have an example of the schema how begin, which I, I take from the, the schema that ChatGPT is creating, and I show him the beginning. So he has to look like this, yeah. And ChatGPT will build for us a schema that we'll use inside of the configuration of ChatGPT, yeah. So this is the advantage of using um, Intelligent, yeah, and he configured the schema for us with uh, with the variables that I provide, with uh, the link that I provide, and so on. Yeah, everything is here, and he told me what uh, uh, what I do with the schema. For me, I will go copy the code, go here. Voila, he liked the schema. He like he understands the schema. Okay. Let me check something because uh uh ah post path everything. So he put the everything here. The policy here is a policy, private policy UA path. Great. We'll create it only for me. And save. Done. So I have the new GPT that will communicate theoretically with my webhook. So I'm on the new GPT and I'll say, send an email to Christian, Christian at 
christian.negulescu at uipet.com with a summarization of this text. And let's talk about the uh, uh, description of Grand Canyon. Okay, let's copy this stuff. And provide him inside of the new GPT. Shift enter. Done. Enter. So, we have a new GPT. He analyzed the data. And normally he has to recommend me the action. But when he recommends action, I have to confirm that he will do this action. Say confirm. And now he's trying to start action. We take a look on the uh, um, on the orchestrator. Starting the action, he analyzes. Talk with your iPad, email has sent. Okay, let's see if uh, we have an action here. Done, we have an action. So ChatGPT was able to call our system, the trigger, uh, the, the trigger find this, and the process is running. The process is running and the mail should be sent. Let's say when it's finished. And here we remember that we let that, that log. So if we go back, we see that we have the log and you see that um, uh, the subject was uh, a summary of the Grand Canyon, uh, geological but the description of Grand Canyon, yeah? So the system was able to, to run the process with the correct data that was provided by the GPT. So GPT was able to analyze the data and provide this. And if you see, I think I have an email. I have an email with the summary of the Grand Canyon. Okay, so that's the idea. How you are able to, from uh, from ChatGPT, very easy, how to are able to call UiPath robots and do a lot of stuff with the UiPath robots. So now, Think about, uh, uh, I show you this uh, simple um, example, how to make the call. Think about uh, what uh, UiPath can automate. And think about use cases that uh, you analyze the data with ChatGPT. And after you analyze the data with ChatGPT, you call the UiPath robots and uh, you do a lot of automation with, uh, with this data. So contact me for ideas and you'll see that in the future, we have a lot of videos with autopilot which is a much complex stuff with that combined chat GPT and a lot of uh, automation. As usual, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Have a good one. Bye-bye.